Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna talk about your first week at work as a junior web developer. So I saw some comments in here in this channel about people asking me, hey Telmo, how is your, um, not just mine, like in general, how is like the first weeks for a junior web developer? What, 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 what you guys do in the beginning when you are starting out and something because <laughs> There's a lot of people <laughs> that they are afraid that uh, you're gonna start as a junior, a junior web developer and they are just like gonna give you a project. Okay, now you need to finish this project, you need to finish this website, make sure everything is ready and to deploy. <laughs> and everybody is just afraid that something like this, that they are gonna be responsible like for something really important and they are just afraid that, oh my God, I'm just starting out, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I saw, I saw a lot of you guys putting this comment down, so that's why I decided to do this video. But the reality is, guys, when you are starting out as a junior, remember what I'm saying, junior, like it's your first job as a web developer, um, you are going to start out, someone is going to be responsible by you. It could be, for example, if, for example, like... Um, a senior developer, like one of your colleagues that you are working with, it could be something, someone like that that is going to be helping you, or it could be, for example, um, your manager if you have a manager in there, <laughs> most probably. And um, yeah, so basically, you're going to be working and supervised by someone like your superior that is going to like guide you. For example, in the beginning, when you are starting out, they are going, to, they understand, you know, that you are starting out, that you don't have. A lot of experience and everything so basically they will give you like some easy jobs you know like uh, it could be building like a small page it could be like updating some images text on some uh, website um, moving files from one site to another you know updating websites really simple tasks you know this is like this is like a usual practice you know they they don't want you to get in and give you like a really hard job that someone like a, as a senior web developer is working on and you are just like, oh, I don't know what to do, it's, it's gonna like completely break you. So no, they are gonna give you like some easy tasks, some really not important like stuff like for example, uh, they are not gonna give you a job in a, in a important website that they have about the company or a client, you know, because you are starting out, the chances are that you, you can break stuff in there or you can mess up with all the code. So they are not gonna give you nothing of important, most likely, you know, they're gonna give you some easy jobs and they are gonna explain you everything like how can you back up like the files, the code, you know, because um, Obviously, when you are starting out, you don't have a lot of experience and, and you can commit some uh, mistakes. It's completely normal. And uh, they're going to teach you like everything. How can you back up the files, your code, if you are using Git, even better. Um, yeah, so <laughs> all of these, just in case that, you know, you, you start with um, simple projects, simple tasks, you know, to get you like comfortable, to get you like uh, motivated, you know, and you are getting experience with time, you know. The first week you're gonna be doing this, and I, I remember, for example, when I was starting out, it was the same, you know. I was like so nervous that they were gonna give me like something that I'm gonna break the client's website, or but no, they, usually I, I've talked with many, many developers, and uh, I think if not all of them, most of them, they told me that it works exactly like this everywhere, you know. No one will give you, like, no company will give you, like, anything important. So, you have time, you know, to progress. You can ask as many questions as you want, you know, because uh, just... Uh, it's better for you, for example, when you are starting out in a company, don't be afraid like, oh my god, they, they are, they are going to think that I don't know anything or whatever, you know. It's better to ask some questions, you know, and to learn. Obviously, you shouldn't ask like a, a really, a really simple question, but just try it on yourself first, you know, like give it a little bit of research or try if you have like some question. But if it's something that you can't really do or fix or whatever, you have your manager, you have your senior developers that they will help you out with something and you're going to learn with them a lot. You know, that's 
<laughs> you were gonna be working on a team most likely you know you don't have to be like all the time <gasps> I need to know everything or uh, if I don't know this they, they will think I'm stupid and, <laughs> and I don't know anything so this is just like to keep, keep to keep in mind you know like don't be afraid of these kind of things and most of you, most of you, and I'm talking about also about my students, you know, my students from my mentorship program. If you guys are interested, by the way, I still have some spots for this mentorship. I'm not sure for how long I'm going to keep this because I'm starting to have a lot of um, students and it's starting to take a lot of my time. So uh, if you want right now, just take this chance, you know, because I, I think that probably maybe I don't know, February, March, I'm going to finish with my mentorship. So if you want to have some, uh, to, to have me like to be coached one on one, that I'm going to have some Skype calls with you, doing some projects together, just send me an email and uh, yeah, we, we, we can talk through. And yeah, so back, back to the point. Most of you guys, like I said, um, you guys are already, you know, you guys are already like... Um, ready to have a to to go for a job you know most 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 of my students you, you guys already know a lot of uh, everything you know like html css javascript and most of you guys probably that you are watching me you guys already have the skills you know you have the skills to to be a professional web developer you you are just not working in a in a company you know i i have seen i have seen uh, uh, in in some kind of meetups and everything like I've met with developers with developers that they are working they are getting paid for it and they don't know as much as my students you know I met these the, the people that they don't know well JavaScript that they are just using like WordPress or anything you know and most of you guys who are just like lacking is confidence you know start applying for jobs and everything because you you have the skills for it uh, <laughs> you know, in a, in a junior, because m there is there is some of you that you are thinking, oh my God, when I'm starting, when I am, um, when uh, for me to get a job or something, I need to know JavaScript, PHP, uh, Node.js. You don't have to know all these kind of things. Just just keep this in mind. Obviously, the more skills you have, the the better op the be the better chances you will you will have to get a job but in a junior junior listen to what i'm saying junior developer position like you are starting out from the scratch without previous experience you don't need to know like a lot of things you need to know the basics you know and i uh, i think that also some of you you are just like um, trying to collect all the languages learn everything <gasps> oh my god um now I know JavaScript, I need to know React, but I need to know Angular. If you know React, you don't need to know Angular. Or if you know Angular, you don't need to know React, you know, because if you are going to a company to work with React, if, if you know React, for example, and they are using Angular, the manager in there will say, oh, this guy knows React. He can, he can probably learn Angular in a week or something, you know, because is the, the process is the same of learning and is quite similar, you know. So, you or, or for example, you know JavaScript and PHP and you're going to uh, um, imagine uh, work on a company that um, that requires Node. If they, if they look at you and they say, okay, this guy knows how to code well JavaScript and PHP, for sure that even if he, he doesn't know Node, he can learn in a week or a month or whatever, you know, like at the job itself. So this is just like, don't try to learn everything, you know, like all the languages as a, as a junior developer. And um, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm getting a bit off of the point in here. So this is what I'm trying to say, you guys, that uh, in, a, in your first weeks, first month uh, as, a, um, as a junior web developer, you will, you will not be, you know, you will not be responsible for like um, very important projects. You will have like uh, easy, easy tasks and everything. So you get comfortable and you get experience and you learn how the company is working and uh, ask as many questions as you can to your manager, to your senior developers, you know, so, so you can learn a lot. Take some notes if you can or on, on a piece of paper or something that will help you like if you face some problems. So in the future, you don't have to ask it again. 
And uh, yeah, don't don't uh, don't try to learn everything that is out there. Python, Na Node.js, PHP. Stick with some language like JavaScript or whatever. You know, depending if you want to be a, a front end or a back end developer, stick to some language and learn it well. You don't need to be jumping from language to language. You know. <laughs> That's why so many people are, are out there selling different courses and you guys want to collect them all just like the Pokemon <laughs> And uh, yeah, basically basically that's it guys and as well Most of you most of you you already you already have all the skills that you need to to have a, a Junior web developer position, you know, you are just lacking the confidence. This is the thing, you know most of you guys are saying, oh, I still don't know, I still don't know uh, seven languages. <laughs> I still don't know seven languages or something. How can I get a junior web developer position? So <laughs> just keep this in mind. Be confident, start applying for jobs, build your own portfolio. And that's it, guys. I think, I think that's it really now for this video. I hope you guys like this video, you know, share it with your friends if you think that they, they should hear these kind of things. And subscribe to the channel if this is your first video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys.